Right, let's get into the news, everybody, and feel free to comment um, or ask anything. I can always jump onto whatever topics you want. All right, so the big news of this week, the biggest news, and there's quite a lot of big news. The biggest news is we've got Apple, right, has decided to let developers sell NFTs inside of games or apps that are on the App Store. All right, so this is mass adoption, bottom line, because if you want to get nfts on every phone this is the way to do it yes if we can't have this we'll we'll take the solana phone and thank you solana for doing that but i mean this is really really a step in in a in a direction for nfts that i think very few people realize you know maybe medium term to long term i remember when qr codes were initially developed um and only now have yeah it was 10 15 years ago and only now have people really started using them and you see them around and people use them nfts were were originally developed about 13 years ago um and so we're a couple of years out of mass adoption it is more complicated than a small qr code so it's more like when the internet was was developed versus mass adoption which was 25 years or the mobile phone or anything like that but to think that we've got apple now saying that if you want in your app you can have nfts is huge because the next step is going to be them having nft wallets on their app as part of the wallet app in my opinion right i'm just you know giving my opinion here um, I don't have any knowledge of that, but that's just the logical next step. And the next step to that is, you know, mass adoption for NFTs. Um, and you can be sure that all these game developers and app developers that, that are on Apple's platform are scrambling to launch NFTs within it, to be the first or amongst the first, right? Um, so it does come with a 30% commission on NFTs sold through the app or listed on the marketplace. Um, and if we think of that compared to OpenSea, which is 2.5%, yes, that is high. But if you think that it exposes NFTs to a billion people overnight, you know, then it's well worth it. I'd rather have a smaller piece of a massive pie than the entire small pie, right? Um, so yes, 30% is high. I do hope in time it will come down, but that's typically what they do charge. I mean, if you forget NFTs, if you if you um, list a normal app or game on the Apple uh, um, uh, store, you, you pay that anyway. So look, I think we got to take it for what it is. It, in my opinion, it is incredibly bullish for the space. Um, and something we should all be really, really excited about. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really happy that this happened. 